Hey, do you want more? <laughs> more videos of me at Adobe making things? Well, that's quite a coincidence because I have another one to share. This is day three of the time that I spent at Adobe and I'm assuming that you've seen the first two videos by now. If you haven't, the links for those are in the description down below. Enjoy yourself and I'll see you on the other side. Yay! We're live? Hey Travis, yeah, we're live. 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 What's up, we're Twitchers? Alive. Staying alive. <laughs> Remember that, you have to stay alive. Um, okay. okay, so that's the third day and also the last day, Travis. So oh, it's so yeah. sad. I've had so much fun this that, week. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like I've <laughs> I've leveled up my own design skill just like in this kind of cauldron of working fast, learning new tools, nice. being exposed to everybody's demos, Keep and like hacking in the chat here. Yeah, yeah. That's What's up, what everyone? Uh, so we started on Tuesday, um, and uh, just to recap, uh, we we picked. Uh, wind up topic so you you have prepared and I randomly pick something it's how to find I mean finding a good place is very hard in this city so that was the topic and then you interviewed me yes and uh, we followed the design process with the 10x the yes and exercise so you can wa watch the, um, the video on demand the replay and then we came up with some screens that we sketched mm -hmm. uh, yesterday and also yesterday you started like designing the screens directly in this new tool yeah. Adobe XD. So um, if we can look at, well actually, okay, yeah, so we could look, look at my screen uh, yeah, sure. capture here. So what we have looking, what we're looking at right here is kind of like where we left off yesterday. Uh, we spent so much time like talking about uh, like the, the wireframes and like going through like the whole process again. I think we didn't leave enough time for, for using Adobe XD <laughs> and I wanted to, I want to leave a lot of room for that today. Cool. So I'm just going to start right where we left off before we jump into the actual work. I'm going to give you guys another link. If you go to my Twitter again, uh, at Dev Tips Show, there's a link to the current state of the file. So I did a lot of work after the... Oh, nice. Um, okay. Yeah, for after the, the... What's it called? The stream? The yeah. Twitch stream. I went off into a closet and stay there for a while and, and did a lot of work. And I've got a lot of things to show you guys right in the, at the top of the show right now. Um, and uh, if you go and click this link, you're going to get a page that looks like this, just like yesterday. At the top here, there's a little download button. You're going to download a zip, and inside of the zip is are these assets, uh, this asset folder here, which you'll see us using throughout the stream, and then the actual um, Adobe XD file, which is our, our project yeah. file. So I've just put the link in the chat. You just have to click on the on the link, and you will get the assets. Nice. Thanks, Michael. Um, yes, flying Mike. See that? <laughs> and uh, then th this way it doesn't work. Same rules apply to yesterday's stream uh, as a disclaimer about the assets. Like these are not owned. You cannot use them in a paying uh, paying job. These are just for practice. You can't uh, yeah. sell them or anything. So <laughs> now let's move over to the project files. This is where we left off. So what I want to do first is kind of give you a tour of where I went from here. Um, I uh, decided that. You know, after we looked at all these branding, I, I thought I thought this was a nice kind of like loading screen or like a launch screen, and then this was like a good general place for the brand. And so here's how that kind of matured itself. This is this is how the brand started is like just an like orange bar yeah. at the top and with a, a simple letter forms. But then at the end, yeah, you were like, oh, maybe I'm not sure about. Yeah, the at the end of the stream, yeah. I was like, my my, cri my criticisms were a few things that um, these. These chips, these uh, these um, city chips, felt like kind of like static, not really very lively, you okay. know. And also, like the brand, it was kind of like blasé, and it could be mm. better. Okay. So that's kind of like where I, I started from when I started working. Um, so here's the what we just reviewed. Um, the first, so I'm gonna go through like maybe like I think eight or nine, maybe less, um, like versions. And, and, and oh, okay. what's cool about Adobe XD is that. Like you, 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 you get an idea out, duplicate, move along, and like maybe your best idea is your fourth one, but you made eight, and so just to make sure, you know. So um, I kind of took a play from the um, the logo being using the the squares and like the loading screen and trying to make that, and I used a a, a gradient overlay to kind of fade it in but it felt like way too chaotic, so I wasn't really happy with that. Continued mm. on, and I, I tried to reduce. Mm reduce the um, the tiling and make the logo smaller as well okay. and then I thought to myself okay still it just looks like a bunch of chips of cities like if you launch this app it doesn't tell you 
what it's for or like why why are you looking at cities and why why these cities yeah this is something you raised yesterday yeah so um so i tried to put a little labeling on it and um i think i didn't actually change to this okay i thought i thought paris didn't make it in but i guess we did make it in at the end of the oh, day oh no yes um so i put a label there and then uh the uh the logo got a little smaller Hmm. The le- the logo got smaller even still. It was still a little overbearing here. That's true. So it the, the letter that. forms yeah. are a little bit more surrounded in space. Because I, I was trying to go for this kind of like a, you know, like a furniture store, like kind of modern <laughs> feel to it with like these colors are very modern colors. And um, and then also right about here, the, the menu bar changed quite a bit. I moved away from the um, the icons that were included in the original download and I just started using material icons. From, uh, oh, from the Google fr- ma- yeah, Google material yeah. icons, and the reason was like you can see right here the difference. Like the ones on the right just look a lot more tappable, like they they, they want your finger on them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're they, and they're like a little bit more strong. They're filled in, so they're obvious. Like for example, the bell versus the bell on the left. Like what is that sure. thing? It could be like a spaceship, like a flying saucer alien kind of thing. Where on the right, it's like a lot more recognizable as a notification or a bell. Nice. And then from there, um, I went and messed with the top a little bit more. I wanted to reduce the presence of it and kind of make it smaller, but yet like more meaningful. And so I just removed the the squares on the side and then um, just just moving along quickly. I need it needed more. Uh, It it felt like it was like, why is it stuck to the top? And there's all this space around it. So Mm -hmm. I tried to like isolate it in in space. And then I and I I, I guess I don't have them here. I don't have them here, but I did a few versions where I had near you as one of the chips. Okay. And um, I don't... That's weird that I don't have it anymore. But uh, I I thought, like, it was weird that the cities were above geolocating, and it was hard to, like, kind of uh, set up a good um, uh, hierarchy of information Mm. right there. So um, instead, I, I put them in parallel and put them in tabs on this one. On number five here, so near you oh, is just I as see. important as popular cities, and it and it's like an obvious option. And I'm giving now, I'm giving those navigational options a, a, a lot more space around them mm-hmm. to bring them into more like a, a like a, a, a an A one or an H one kind of feel. You know, they're like the bigger headline idea. And uh, and um, yeah. So yes, Brandon is talking about the contrast on the stream. Yeah, it's always much better. But at some point, we'll be able to share this prototype, so you will be able to experiment like the real colors by yourself. Um, because it's true, like we on the stream, you know, there is video compression, mm. so the colors are slightly different. You lose the contrast, but you will see that yeah, it's much better on Travis' screen. Yeah, there's a download link in the um, in the comment. Is he's talking about like these co- the colors that he's watching are not that great? Yeah, it's not exactly um, you know um, oh, what okay. you have here. Okay, yeah, I mean, so if you it's download... It's close, you see, but like place, uh, if you look at the L. Oh, yeah. yeah it's oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. L is a, the L is definitely... You can read the blank. L on the, <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> um, the next one I did is uh, more experimenting on the logo itself. I separated them, the chips, and kind of also mi- uh, kind of found a, a harmony with the rounding of the corners similar to the, the, the city chips there. So there's a little bit more of a repetition of the pattern, reusing mm-hmm. it and kind of creating more familiarity with the brand itself also replicating that in the UI. Okay. You know, just kind of making repeating patterns that way. And this is kind of Oh, here's here's where the tiles, yeah. Yeah, so um here's a oh. an, uh, another option like when you click near you, here's a the version of that tab. And uh <clears throat> oh, this nice. one here is like showing you where you are and the average listings going on in that area and then below that is our our distinct neighborhoods or districts in that area. Yeah. So um, there's there's still I mean it's the same format just kind of narrowing in on a more like where are you right now kind of vi- vision, and this chip is basically you know twice the size of the of the normal chips oh, to like make it more like obvious what you're doing and where you're at, but I wasn't totally satisfied with that I wanted it to have like a more custom feel and, and make it like more like impactful on like a, an emotional mm-hmm. level, so I extended this map up and around the the um, the branding, and so when you move to the near you mm. tab, the where you are. First of all, it, it's great because it moves that map up. It gives us more room for the neighborhoods that you actually want to dive into. 
but it, it surrounds, it goes up, up around the brand itself. Nice. And it creates like this kind of like novel kind of feel that you don't really see a lot. Um, I, and I really like it. Yeah. So, and also it gives more, more area for us to talk about the neighborhoods that you're actually going to be clicking on and, and diving into. So that, that's kind of like what I did for the home page, And that's kind of like the, all the revisions to get here. And I wanted to share with you, um, how many revisions it took to actually get something good. Because when you're designing, sometimes you can get like so caught up in trying to make the perfect thing the first time that, you know, really like, I don't know how many times I can overstate this, but like it's about iteration and versioning because, um, everything that I do the first time is pretty much garbage. Okay. So, well, um, thanks for sharing the, the story. Like it's really great to see like the evolution. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, just in one project. It's really great. Totally. Yeah. I, I get excited when I see other people's uh, progress as well, because like yeah. it, it makes me feel better <laughs> yeah. about like how slow I am to arriving to a good point. Um, but what's, what's great about uh, XD is that like, it was so easy to just be like, okay, that's good, but let's try again and try something new and, and try a new idea again. And just duplicating, running, making a new version was so fast yeah. that you can arrive to that point of like, I think this is good, move on to something else much faster than I could with, with, a, uh, with a different tool. And also it's super easy to share, like if you want to, to get feedback, you know, you can, you can just uh, like create a prototype with uh, three screens. Yeah, and links, and uh, send it to another designer, and say, okay, which one do you prefer? Do you have feedback? That's true. Like we we have um, a a workflow that says, you know, make the design, and then prototype, and then share, and then profit. You know, yeah. <laughs> but like the there, but this is a uh, really flexible actually uh -huh. like i'm going to be doing the the main uh, workflow like after i we do some designing today i'm going to be sh doing prototyping and showing you how to wire things up but when i was deciding like does do these tabs like how they're kind of floating on this kind of like chip in the air above the map I was like does that look good when you transition tabs does it look strange or weird mm -hmm. and so i quickly wired them up oh, in, okay. in prototype yeah, to feel in, the in prototype mode click 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 yeah that's good move along it's so fast. I liked it. Yeah. All right. Um, so now that we have like a good feeling for the loading screen, the home page, popular cities and near you tabs, I wanted to explore the other navigational elements and the, and the main, the main flow that we outlined, it kind of starts from the home where you inspect a, um, a neighborhood. And we talked about the, uh, like the, um, the paradigm of, of uh, that dating app, Tinder. Tinder. You know, swipe right if you like the oh, neighborhood yeah. or whatever. <clears throat> and, uh, and, and following through that, like how do you make a judgment on a home? Like should I invest more time in researching this? Should I like watch a walkthrough? What does a walkthrough look like? And that's kind of like where I explored first. So let's start looking at that. Okay, so here are the two screens, the two select screens, and I brought them down. Um, oh. I just duplicated them, didn't change them. I just brought them down to put them near the other ones and put them in context okay, to help me to feel the, the flow. Yeah, yeah, the feel the flow. Feel the flow. Feel I like the that. Flow. So, um, a great sound. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so this one here is the uh, is the exploration of the neighborhood. So, for example, if I click mission mission district right here, I'm near me. I click mission district. Let's take a look at the at the available listings in that neighborhood. Oh, okay. And I have like this the wow. dating app paradigm where I have these cards. Oh, you did a good job. Oh, so thank, thank you. Use the drop shadow or yeah, yeah, Until, yeah. Wow. XD has built-in drop shadows. You can just click, click, click. Very nice. It's done. Yeah. Actually, I think these are the default settings for drop shadow as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny because you know coming from Photoshop, never yeah. use the default All settings. The They're just <laughs> way too hard, way off to yeah. the right for some reason. But this this is actually very reasonable for a UX usage. So default default shadows, guys. I guess I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> um, so I, I did this and then I showed it to Los. You guys know Los, my my podcast companion, and he he was like he was like because uh, originally this was not there. This is all kind of moved up, and he's like, "Cool, but I clicked on Mission District. How do I know if I'm, sh you know, if I I'm like, oh, cool, show this to my friend? How does it, you know, get the context for the neighborhood? And it and it's good to have like, to to quickly like, hey, peek at my screen or or send them a, a prototype or or whatever, export a really quick, fast ping to somebody. And he was like, I don't know where you are right now. That makes no sense. And so, really quickly, I was able to iterate on that and um, add the neighborhood pretty quickly and creating this kind of um, breadcrumb paradigm easy so we have these um these cards and 
it's you. I wanted to optimize for a quick judgment. So we have a really big uh, photograph. Try to make it as a pleasing photograph as possible. W really big. You want the uh, the headline here. You know, this is going to be something that the 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 person in charge of the lease is like entering. You know, like this is a charming two level uh, on a quiet street in the beautiful neighborhood of Dog. Uh, I Mission have district. someone asking like, how do you drop shadows? <laughs> oh, okay, sure, yeah, maybe great. Show that. So let's click on this on this. Uh, chip inside here oh, that's and this here. is an element and you, you just have border fill and shadow yeah you just you just click the eyeball uh, and then there's a hidden yeah yeah see that drop and shadow back there oh yeah yeah so here's a hint about drop shadows let me uh, z to get that drop shadow off that one chip or the one logo so here, here's a, a hint about drop shadows if i click on um the previous screen the home screen uh, you can set the background fill for the artboard. For the artboard. For the artboard. And, and these are all white because yeah, like it's like yeah. the default is like white. Like blank. Yeah. yeah. This one here, because I knew that I was going to have white cards with Ooh, drop shadows, yeah. the fill is not white. It's a light gray. It's a very, very light gray. Oh, and the point. reason I did that is because you wouldn't notice too much. I mean, no, like, true. yeah. But it does make it pop right here. Yeah. You know, and you can see like, okay, these are three-dimensional elements. Oh, they a want trick. a little bit more physical interaction. They, they, they're yeah. begging your thumb to just kind of get on it. Well, Tap me. You want to pay attention. Yeah, to that, yeah. Uh, uh, at something's work. happening here. Something uh, is coming <laughs> to my face. I want. I have to swipe. Exactly. Yeah. Like at, at work around the office at, at Google, we talk about tapability a lot. You oh, know, okay. like is, is something tappable? Like, like somebody creates a button or a link, and like, like, does this make sense? Is it tappable? Does your thumb want to tap on it? And how do you how do you kind of foster that um, idea in your designs? And and adding things like when you have a fairly flat design, adding a three dimension really does that, making something bigger or more beautiful, um, vibrant, and things like that using contrast. Anyway, so um, using the ideas that I just talked about, uh, color contrast. The three, third dimension and things like that. We see like th this this l heading is like the first bold um, text oh, yeah, that yeah. I've used in the whole design. I've never used bold before until this. And then this is like the biggest size of text you've ever seen. And, and so I'm using a lot of different um, methods to build a contrasting hierarchy within the design. And um, and then I, you know, I wanted to make sure that it was discoverable what to do. Um, Tinder has these big uh, check mark and a X right there, so it's pretty obvious. Even if you don't swipe to the right, you can just press the X or the, oh, the okay. check mark. And I didn't have that room because I wanted to make sure that these filters, because these filters oh. are pretty important when you're judging yeah, a, oh, on yeah, a place. Yeah. Like, like oh, these are way out of my price. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah, that's exactly that. Like you see a beautiful house and say, oh my god, it's like five thousand a month. Uh huh. So I, I need to, I need to lower my filters. So it can be frustrated, so I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, so I have this helper text here to swipe for the next or see more. So we're not swiping oh, like right to say yes okay. or no. We're swiping, we're saying next, next, next. Like, okay. like get it out of here. Yeah. Like, like, like you're taking a stack of cards and like going cards. like, yeah. like, you know. And then <laughs> like veals. Like, yeah, like <laughs> you're making it rain on these houses, yeah. <laughs> so um, the next design kind of illustrates that. Like I'm just taking this top card and just kind of pushing it off. And the next available card would be there, which which is like the next listing, oh, right? Nice. And then after uh, after like exploring how that works, um, we're gonna we're gonna say, okay, what does it feel like when we actually tap on one of these these cards? Um, I want the next screen to be like kind of like an overlay screen to come in, and it's really impactful. And this this version here on the right is what that looks uh, when like. When you tap on the on the card, this is like you see a card that you want. You're not gonna you swipe to it away. More. Tap on it. I see. This is the when you tap on it, you want to know more. You want to dig into it. What is it like? What are the details? Okay, I'm, I'm the wondering gallery. something w when I see that because when I see the first card and then you swipe, and then you do this great rotation job to say, okay, this is how it will come out. Yeah. Like, can we automate a transition? You know, that would be cool. Like in XD. Yeah, that would be nice. You know, like to I I to have like one, two, and three screens. Uh huh. But. Between two and three, I want to, you know, just stay here for one second and directly go to the other. Yeah, one. so we're going to talk about, like, you're talking about prototyping yeah. in XE, right? We're going to talk about, like, the, the interesting ideas you have to kind of, like, uh, you have to bootstrap to make, to show someone. Because prototyping is yeah. all about 
displaying an idea. It's not making. It's not about making an I- making an app that somebody can actually use. Hmm. It's about communicating. Yep. Prototypes are about communication. So what I have to do, and when we get into um, wiring these things up with um, our prototyping phase, we're going to have to do, use some like trickery to show the different states hmm. of this one thing, right? Because it, it has a different functions. So you can swipe it away, or you can tap on it. And how do we show that with a wired prototype? So um, just going back to the design now, um, this page here is all about inspecting a, a single listing house. Um, okay. And there's a few options. Actually, there's, there's two screens here. One of them, the one on the left, is uh, it's, it's like they're having a live no. walkthrough. Oh, yeah. So you can join the live like a periscope. Yeah, experience. like they're periscoping, we go walking through the house, answering questions a about it. It's feature. It's a cool feature. I'm pretty excited about it. So I made this live now button, and I, di- I was like, well, you know, it's not. It, that's a good call to action, but it's not strong enough. And so I put this kind of like notification under it. Oh, I like that. that like yeah. definitely okay. Okay. look Watch at out. <laughs> something's happening. Yeah, like it, this is not normal. You should l- tune in right now. And then um, <laughs> right at the bottom, I have the apply button, which would float over everything as you scroll down. It'll stick. It'll be like sticky, like fixed to the bottom, like kind of like a fab, but not like a Google fab. Like kind of like a floating okay. action button that's yep. not the circle thing on the right. Anyway. And then this one is like, if there's not a walkthrough going through, but you can request one, say like, I'm interested, can you do a walkthrough? And then you'd go into like a scheduling flow later on. And then this is like, after you requested, like showing you feedback that yes, you have requested. Okay. And then also I wanted to say like, I I was really interested in this gallery. We have two mechanisms. We have a swiping mechanism and and a tapping mechanism. Yeah, yeah. So I I did another version. Mm. Oh, oh, here's, this is cool. So in... Like, if you go through the flows and you're doing like this and you have an idea and you need to go back, sometimes I just go right below yeah. and, and start working. Yeah. Like, like this is like another access for uh, like going... I tend going to do the same. You do? You? Okay, yeah. cool. I, I'm not the only one. So so this flow, let me not, let me hide these other guys here. So this flow is like if you're just swiping like on the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, like on the carousel of yeah. images. And so then you have to... Yeah. The little tab thing it here is moved moving. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, these are cool f- things that we can just, like, they're not necessary to explain with the prototype, but they're fun to add, and so why not? And they're easy enough, so, like, let's just do it. And then with the repeat grid, I was like, oh, I don't have, I don't want to have to go find more images. Like, oh, the folder that I'm working with has a lot, so I'll just do this, and then moved it over. Like, look at how long this repeat grid goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like, it was pretty easy to, like, just create that new state. These versions here are different versions of the design that were above, and maybe I'll just show them because you know talking about progress. Okay. Like um, I, I was, I was originally had the, like this kind of like colored layer behind the text to make it okay, more yeah, readable, cold. but like after looking at it, there was like so many horizontal like like oh, separations stripes. here, yeah. striping. Yeah, it, it was like unsettling, and also like it was hard for me to tell myself where to look and most importantly it was losing the emotional impact yeah which in visual design is so important right kills the picture yeah so um and also like the apply now green was like fighting with this live now so i changed it to like the dark commanding uh, deep blue that you see above oh and space kid 2 is crying because that's the last day of presentation oh me too buddy i'm I'm sad to go back to real life tomorrow (laughs) this has been so much fun Okay, let's move along. So let's say you tap on one of the gallery pictures. Um, this is like a scrollable gallery that you can like you can just like swipe up and see more. And we, we're going to maintain. See like see the header image here is kind of obscured by all this content we have on top of it. I still wanted to preserve it. So you're not just looking at internal mm. fo- photographs. We still have the, the huge header. Yeah. The, yeah, the yeah, hero. The, the hero. Yeah, you still have there there, and then uh, and then all these. Nice. All these guys here, and you know what's fun about? It's great because you can really feel the mood of the space. Yeah, just, just like, like scrolling through, screen, which yeah. is not something you see today, like on the on the classic website. You know, when you are looking for a place, right. you always have to click, 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 and sometimes they tell you, "Oh, we have a video." They're like, "Oh, great." And you play the video and it's just a slideshow uh. <laughs> of all the pictures <laughs> with weird music. <laughs> That's on. not a video. <laughs> That's on. pictures in a video format. <laughs> um, what's cool about all these things, so, so these are images with, and I just dropped a, a few photos on them. And the reason I didn't do a repeat grid is because I wanted to make the grid yeah. look kind of like uh, dynamic and interesting. But look at this. Now that I have three rows and they're all kind of like different shapes, I can just select them let me just do a swipe, uh, drag to select, select them all, okay, and then make a repeat grid. 
and then if I wanted to like show somebody scrolling through, like, yeah. you know, it just like if you have three, it, be, it becomes and, yeah, the pattern. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, um, and, and they were saying that we plan on, or you guys plan on making scrollable yeah. uh, as part of the prototype. Scrollable views. So That's good. Say, okay, so something so like this would be good to really yeah. illustrate. So this would be a scrollable element. Mm -hmm. So you control the offset. And yeah. when you run in prototype mode in preview, then you will be able to scroll. Uh huh. And, and what I was trying to illustrate with that, that grid there is that a repeatable grid doesn't need to start with one element and then repeat itself. It can start with a, 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 start an with organization of elements yeah, and then repeat those. It can start with a grid. So you, like, you can embed a grid in a grid in a grid. Oh, that's right. You were telling me that the other day. Yeah. I, that's pretty sweet. You know what's cool about these grids? I, I was talking with uh, with Los the other day and I was, uh, yesterday, and I was like, the repeat grid has become like a tool that, like, just doing these exercises the yeah. past two days that I've used so much and with great success. Like, it's like a really uh, intuitive tool. Yeah, because the, uh, I think the conclusion, you know, when we did some research from the team, is that when you design screens, you copy paste all the time. All the time the same thing so much you know like just for rating an apartment like five stars usually you copy paste you know like the stars i i had i had a screen where i was rating a person or yeah like yeah and and i, I made one star and i dragged it out to three and a half oh, so yeah. like so like i used the repeat grid to clip okay. the last element that's good and, it was then, and you copy paste maybe and you change the opacity to show it's a three and a half out of five you know you could do oh, this that's kind a of, that's a yeah, good idea. That could be a good trick. Duplicate the and grid. You play with the grid. Oh, <laughs> uh, I did. I just had like three and a half, but that's that's a good, yeah. Like and then just quickly like tap, you know, like yep. three to reduce it to three thirty percent. Cool. And so I have a sticky header here to reminding reminding you what listing you're looking at, and then the way that you exit the screen would be to click the X. Now, if you tap on one of these images, <laughs> and Skik is like, eh, we cannot do gradients on Adobe XD. No, this is coming. But what you can do, it is and coming. this is the trick you you used on. Yeah, look, uh, look at remember when, but right here I have a gradient. Yeah, you created a gradient in Illustrator, mm -hmm. and then you just do copy paste. Yep, it's yeah. easy. Oh, and thank you, Menes Heyo, for answering that. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's good. We have now, like you know, like <laughs> after three days, we have so many people who there's a lot of like, knowledge. Really learning. Try the yeah. app and then yeah. answer the other one. So that's great. Like now we have a community of experts. Yeah, every time you oh. guys do a demo, like what what people are you know the travel challenge. Oh, yeah. I'm running around here and looking yeah, at, your, at your screen while you're recording because it's so cool. They, like, you guys are yeah, doing awesome jobs. Street. Yeah, and and like I think like as the days progress, like we're in the third day now, like the level of yeah. like competency and like skill is just increasing. Like it's oh, a yeah. pretty fast tool to learn. Yeah, people are getting better. You can really, really quick. see the difference after three days. Yeah, like, uh, the the last entries are well, really yes. impressive. So going back to this design, uh, the idea here was that if you tap on one of them, you get a zoomed-in view. You can swipe to the right or left to get like you know like the next, like on a carousel. Oh yeah. Or you could you could push thing. down to get rid of it, go back to the whatever, or just oh, okay. X out. Yeah. Um, okay, so this one going back here is like if it's live now. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go to that Ooh. idea right here. Is that's right that's here. A live tour. Uh huh. This is the first uh -huh. version yeah. of it. You I had, had the some fun here. <laughs> I was like googling for like a like a like Paris FaceTime or periscopes, periscopes and stuff like that. Yeah, it was it was kind of hard to find this image, but she's just holding her dog oh, and like <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know why somebody would be giving a tour of a house and showing off the dog, but there you go. Um, so this so this Usually one here you would have I think. Oh, you need it. Sorry. What's that? <laughs> like a slight opacity on the on the text box you know, when someone is talking, so you can still view the video. But I see that. Oh video. yeah, yeah. It's already there. <clears throat> so this is the first version, and it had like the live now up there at the top, and, yeah. I, and I was like, "That's Maybe cool." Blinking. But let me try. Let me try this. Bringing the live now Ooh, down, making yeah. it look like because because uh, you know like Real when you life. have like um like looking through the lens of a camcorder, the live the live record the record dot is like usually at the bottom oh, left. That's true. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I wonder, like, try that out. And um, it's much better. It was it was cool, but I, but I I actually like the placement up there. But I used the bigger presentation of oh. it. So going from this like oh yeah, because green, it's true, you need the keyboard and everything. Yeah, yeah, the keyboard messed up. Fine. So so kind of like this is like where the the st our flow starts with the the chat. Okay. So. The rules are: you have like a, a text box where you're prompted to ask a question. The keyboard is down, um, and you have uh, like the 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 chat the the chat bubbles. If they're there, like after a few seconds, they they disappear, kind of like Periscope does. Right? Yeah. In the live now. That's good. There. I mean, you really found a good way to 
to express that because uh, like you see the screen you understand that this was the first message yeah it's already old so this is disappearing now yeah and, so and it's a, it's you already a, feel it just with the uh, best i'm glad to hear that i'm glad to hear that comes through but it, it's actually even easier to reinforce using prototyping Oh, like a transition? Yeah, like so when we beta. get into the prototyping, you're going to see how this will work. Oh, but I, I made a few screens for the flow of this. Oh, okay, cool. So like right now, we're like, so this is like when you first open the live now, you see like what's going on. She's answering questions, showing off her dog, I guess. And then um, this one here is you tapped into the text box, and you're yeah. ready to start typing. They say that if the dog comes with the free with the house, it's a selling pound. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you see. Like. That's funny, because that, that's what I... It, that's it, what you say. Yeah, that's what I typed out as okay. the question. <laughs> Does the dog come with the house? <laughs> okay, so you have the same silly spirit, and right? Yeah. And so, you but but something. we're noticing that the that the uh, that the as I as I submit yeah. this question, yeah. the top one fades, and this and then and yeah, there's yeah, a new yeah. one. So you can oh, see like the progress are. of. Yeah, that's my face. You engage. I want this house, and I want that dog. Yeah. <laughs> um. Cool, and then let's move on to the next step. So, th so those are that's oh, so like. Do you say in English for a dog house? Is it a niche? A dog house? Yeah. So you know niche when you say it's a niche market. Et yeah. So in French, a niche is the uh -huh. is the house of the dog. Oh, is it? You know, like in the garden, you know, like the. We have the word niche. Niche? You say niche? Oh, okay. Yeah. Because that's the same. It's a niche. A niche. A niche is like, isn't like a. It's a space, right? It's like a like a. Yeah, it's like a, a kind of a, a corner of something or a little, sp yeah. Anyway, um, so after I uh, went through like the live explorations and kind of like remembering that this is all, all these screens that we've seen so far are all kind of gathered under this main home tab, right? The, the flow starts at home, looking for neighborhoods, looking at a listing, yeah. seeing, a, seeing a person's live preview. Let's go into these other three tabs and see what else we can we, we need so the <laughs> first one here is notifications so i have the like bell. this yeah the bell so i have this notifications oh, nice. here like and the timeline it's kind of like a timeline yeah your nice. most recent thing at the top like hey there's a new available availability that matches the th your preferences that you outlined yeah, already we talked about it during the yeah that was one skate. of the ideas yeah. yeah absolutely here's like a packet is due soon you you they there they have like a call for like submissions you know um, you have a scheduled walk due in a, th a walk through in a few days. Now, if if I had more time, I'd probably go through and oh, make. They, what's that? See, they are talking about the camera. Where's where, the camera? Where's the camera? <laughs> so actually, we have something for you <laughs> because we had some uh, fun art. This is what we can say. We have fun art. Yeah, fan art. Oh, fan art. Fan art. You know, like uh, an admitted <laughs> joke, like <laughs> on social networks. You say, okay, maybe we, we should show the camera. So this is just for you. Okay. <laughs> Where's the camera? Here it is. There's the camera. That's the camera. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so funny. You can't. When I first saw that, I was like, they were recording. I was back there, just like holding in the last, like, <laughs> like so hard, so hard. Okay. Um, so uh, if if I had more time with this this layout and I was going to do more iterations, I was doing this this design. While they were recording the last <laughs> episode with, with the with the project manager here, Julie is her name. Uh, Joanne. Joanne. While Joanne was sitting here in the last hour, I was doing this and, and the next things that I'm going to show you. So if I had more time, I'd, I would kind of vary up the design of the uh, of the notifications. They kind of look like listings themselves, but they are attached to listings, so I'm not totally. I don't know. It's there's there's more exploration that could be done here. I think. So, but let's move along. Um, the next tab is search. So I wanted to have like a really like blanket everything that you're currently looking at, overlay everything, give you a really clear search box, and then also include those filters that make searching and finding your listing so important to you. You know, like how many bedrooms do you it's need? It's very clean. I like it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Great. Really like it. And then um, the next one is the profile, which I haven't done any work for. Can we get a, a picture of our big faces? Yeah. The front camera, please. I'm gonna hold up. I'm gonna hold up the. Uh, yes. Okay. The, the, these are the two screens that uh, we're gonna be making today. The first one is what happens when you click on the tab, the profile tab. So, so I'm the person looking for an apartment. Um, how do I manage my progress? Right. So it's gonna have um, a link to my packet. My packet is the thing that I give to potential landlords to convince them that I'm a good tenant, mm -hmm. and then. Um, now it, it's like kind of like a project tracker of the different like um, 
properties that I'm interested in and sub have already submitted to and kind of like looking at that status like right there. And then after that, if we have time, we're going to try to design the actual packet itself. So this is, oh, nice. this is what the la potential landlord will see and, yeah. and make them decide if I'm a good tenant. So it's going to be a little bit more visual. Okay, I have a blank artboard here. I'm going to have my sketch with me just kind of for reference. And let's start designing. <clears throat> All right. So um, one of the rules that we know that we've kind of established and been establishing throughout the whole uh, design process is that we're, we're, we're relying strictly on proportions and specifically the measurement of eight pixels and multiplications yeah. of that. That's your golden number. For this design, eight, yeah. Six, it just really works out, yeah. Three. Because eight is like a really clean um, increment and it's, divi it's divisible by 360, which is the width of our, um, our oh, minimum okay. Okay. design. So, sense. so it just really works. Yeah, and uh, you know, in our our point, our type point sizes and like the letting between them, it's just it's just really good. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, uh, in our in our sketch here, we kind of ripped off um, what's that application? Instagram for the profile. So let's quickly yeah. start making some profile elements. A lot of the times, I've noticed that when I'm working in XD, I'll have like my layouts here, uh, my layout artboard, and I start creating elements on the scratch board or the pasteboard or whatever it's called and then I just like after I arrange like the module I'll, I'll bring it into the artboard itself so let me show you how that kind of works I'm gonna hit E for the um, the ellipse tool and hold shift and drag out an ellipse doesn't really matter what size because I'll change it anyway um, rem reminder that I'm working with multiples of eight so let's do uh, let's say eight do some multiplication here. 8 times 5 is 40, 48, 56. Let's try, no, let's do 48. <laughs> Let's say, Travis, hurry, hurry up. Hurry what? Yeah, he's fast. Mm. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, and now this is, this is my profile, so I want to get my face up in here. Uh, faces, Travis. What app Just drag that? it it's right. It's be XD at me. Drag it right onto the circle, and it and it creates a fill. It's not like a mask that you have to like create a new element and and oh, yeah. actually mask the raster image. You just drop it on an element, and it fills it. It's pretty. It's really yeah. easy to do. Fills the background. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now um, our sketch says that I need to put place my name in it. So I'm going to run over to my text. Uh, yeah, copy paste. Lines. Yeah. So you started with that, like you. Yeah, we did. We talked about this yesterday. Themes These are. Mm-hmm. And uh, some. Yeah, photography styles. Definitely. Textiles. So um, this this headline is going to be right below my face, and it's, it's not important for me to know who I am, so mm -hmm. it doesn't need to be huge. So I'm probably just going to grab these two to see. I'm going to hold shift, grab both of them, and see like which one I like better. Copy, run back over to my uh, construction zone, right, yeah, and uh, and paste. All right, I'm al already deciding headline three because headline two is just way too big. All right, Travis. Nielsen and uh, center that. See how that works. Okay. And then uh, maybe that's even too much as well. We'll decide later. And there's a there's also some text where I need to do um, like my kind of stats. You know, like how many listings yeah. am I watching and this kind of thing. And I did actually. I had a a design. And what's great, like when you start working up to these, you know, different designs. Like those patterns inform the next one, so they mm. like it becomes so quick to make new versions because you already have a pattern. Like, look at here. Here's a definition pattern already. A lease term, like a, a property okay. property value, okay. like already. Um, so I'm gonna run back over here and paste it. I'm gonna organize it a little bit differently this time, though. Um, you notice that there is there's eight pixels between them, Ooh. so I'm gonna put eight pixels between us at the top here. That's too much. So I'm going to divide eight by two and do uh, four. That looks a lot better. So this is going to be the definition. The first definition is is like watching. Nice. And how many um, homes or listings am I watching? Let's just say fourteen. And we'll uh, let's make a repeat grid here. So Why watching, not? Which one is it? Is when you have a flag or you know? Yeah, yeah. So back here, I, I guess I, I didn't tell you tell you guys this, but back here there's like a little bookmark icon. That's a bookmark. Yep. Yeah, and I can click that. And it'll so yeah, I'm interested. That's yeah, it, it, it's not a commitment. Yeah. I'm not engaging the leaser. You want to save it somewhere. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, I need to show this to somebody or maybe, sh yeah. yeah, whatever. 
just watching. So um, I made a repeat repeat grid out of that really quickly, and I'll change the uh, padding between it to 16, which is a multiple of 8. And uh, let's change some numbers here quickly. 6, and that can be um, 23, because the definitions are... So watching um, applications. And uh, the last one will be how many views has my profile received from okay. the uh, the landlords that I'm entreating. Now you can tell me, what, what would you do about this <laughs> right here? Wow. That's an issue. So uh, what I would could reverse views in applications. That would be one trick I would use. Oh, no, I like the order. I, want, I don't want the tools okay. to tell me how to design. I want my design. I see what you mean. Yeah. I, so, the, so, so the thing is... So you could change the size of the text. I guess that's what people people would try. Okay. Or uh, because if you do like, oh, okay, let's make an abbreviation like apps. Uh huh. People won't get it because it looks like applications. But like right, right. Oh, apps. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, so, so just to be clear about what what problem we're talking about right here, is that my repeat grid is based off of this word watching. That's the the defining width of the repeat grid. Yeah. And the second word, applications, is longer, so it's breaking out of the grid and creating but if it's this a tangent grid, right I guess here. You can change the margin between the elements. But just, but all of them, right? Not. Yeah. Like this one. But oh, it made it bigger. Oh, that's interesting. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to break out the grid, easy. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in here and get eight, uh, get no, sixteen pixels. Sorry, uh, between each one. It's easy. So it's the, manually. The re yeah, just do it manually. The repeat grid is, is great, but look at when it doesn't work, use it for what it what it can do for yeah, you. Yeah, use it, it to duplicate. Yeah, it just it was a really quick duplicator, and that's all that's all we oh, needed I from see. it. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna group these together and make them one unit, so that's easy to work with here. Mm -hmm. Put them, uh, center them on my. Uh, they look pretty good. Let's see, center. There we go, and then. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting convinced that this is the wrong type style here. Let's <laughs> let's change that. You're like giveaway and creative jam time. Yeah, giveaway Come time. Come on. Uh, in 15 minutes. Oh snap. Okay. We do some giveaways, credit card subscriptions for you, friends in the chat. Click on the follow button. Follow the Adobe channel. And small button. We can use this headline for the button. Ah, where'd it go? Uh, and the button is going to say auto apply because we, we want this feature called auto apply, which is the the problem that it's trying to solve is is in, in our interviews we discovered that oh, yeah, that's, that that's when great. people when a listing comes up people are already getting on it and you have to be competitive right yep. so we, we had want to, to be the first you want to be the first one to get get noticed by the the landlord or the potential leaser oh, good. I can tell you a story about it go ahead like uh, so I was looking for an apartment in Paris so just to share it with you mm -hmm. like the ad was on the website on Monday morning. I call. I have the meeting at noon on the same day. Okay. On Monday. Mm -hmm. I send the file on Tuesday. Yeah. And got the answer on Wednesday. That's fast. You see how fast this That's is? That's fast, yeah. So and, and there was competition. Like, it was not on the... Yeah, yeah, morning. yeah. So we, we, we had a, a weird... It's just think, so we we live in the Bay Area. Housing is very very competitive out here as well, and we we did this this is horrible. We found like we knew that we were going to be moving like a few months like six months out, and so we were like, oh great, we have time. Let's find a good place. Yeah. It turns out that the competition was so fierce that that people wouldn't let you project leasing. They said, oh no, it's available today, and you have to get it today. today? And so we could not find a place. You had you have to wait until the very end and then get one and oh it's just it's oh a nightmare yeah uh, dude ha housing in today you have to make the, the decision on the same day you have to show up to the um, to the interview or the uh, like yeah. the tour with your packet with a check it's crazy out here it's crazy oh anyway l let's not talk about that let's um here we are we're gonna make our button have the same kind of visual style of three pixel rounded and then notice that how I'm centering this uh, this button here and creating the proportions I'm letting the text define the size of my button and I'm just adding padding to it how much padding do you ask it's gonna be eight pixels so I'll hold shift <laughs> and nudge it up to which goes 10 and then bring it back down to shift and nudge it left which is 10 bring it back to and then and then I can use Ooh. these controls here to dictate the height 
Uh, let's do width first. I'm just going to bring it here. Nudge out. Back two. Oh, nice. Bring it up. I like it. It's always the keys. Up. Nudge two. Oh, yeah. So now mm -hmm. we have a nice button. Looks good. And uh, let's... What's the color of the auto-apply? Dark gray? It needs to be in our brand. So let's choose... Um, a fill. Creative driving giveaway. This is coming. Bam. That's right. That's in 12 good. minutes. Auto apply. Stay with us. We'll give away Creative Cloud subscription. Text is white. Now I'm looking at it and thinking about it. An auto auto apply is not a button. No, it's an option. It's a yeah. It's, it's a like switch. A yeah. Yes, that's right. All right. What are we doing here? Let's get this right. Okay, let's change this back. Uh, let's get our text color from these guys. Don't ever do this. Don't. Uh, why am I doing that? We don't do that. That's not how we choose text. <laughs> uh, what is the color of this? I think it's tungsten. That's a, that's a cool word. Sampling. Tungsten. Sampling uh, other text elements for color is a, is dangerous because you have anti -anal uh, anti aliasing, which will give you like variations in the, in the yeah, oh yeah. So you can go down a bad path. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, doing that. Um, okay, so we have our auto apply, and now let's change this rectangle into a switch kind of looking thing, and let's uh, the switch needs to be size wise. Let's make it height of thirty. To, let's start at 32 because that's a multiple of 8. And let's bring in these uh, rounded corners to make it like more of like an oval. Bring in the size of it, about that. Still a little oh, too big. Nice. So I see where you're going. Yeah, what's, what's, the, what's the next uh, going down? It's 30, 24, right? Whoa. So, mm, 24 is a good width. All right, or a height, sorry. And <clears throat> let's change the fill and border, like toggle those, and then duplicate this item, command copy, command V, make it a little bit smaller, and uh, s shrink the size of it too here, width 18, okay, and then trade back the fill there, so now this switch is like yes, or like on or off, so auto apply is, I should put a label in the button. I'm not even sure what that color means. <laughs> like, if the designer's not sure, <laughs> then you need a label. <laughs> uh, off. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's the. If the, the designer, if the designer sure. doesn't know what that logo means, like, it you needs a label. label. <laughs> I like it. Uh, take it down to normal and make the color back. Uh, what was the other one we were using? Was it aluminum? That looks good. All right. So, um, off. And then if you switch it. Like the button, the little knob handle thing here can turn a different color, and uh, and this, the the label will turn to on. Auto, oops, let's group these guys here. Command G, and uh, align it to the bottom and to the left. Cool. So we have our our, our little lockup here of um, the profile and how that kind of is going to look. So let's take this and move it into our layout. Whoa, oops move it into our layout and and obviously it's not going to fit perfectly because we didn't kind of build it to any proportion and maybe you know now that I'm just kind of like talking with hands waving in the air maybe a good <laughs> reason to build outside of your artboard and then to move it in and resize is because when we think about how responsive design works like all these devices have different sizes and I want to make sure that this these this lockup mm. can can work as a unit together okay. and then worry about the device. Well, that makes sense. I'm just making things up right now, you know, like yeah, yeah. like you do. I think it, yeah. So uh, this should be centered and locked. Let's center that and then lock it. Group. Okay. Nice. And I want to move this over to the side and then 16 pixels away uh, from the edge. These ones as well. Wait, did I move that down? One, two, one, two, three, four. And then, because I know that one's 16 pixels from the edge, I'll just align it with these guides. Oh, yeah. I think this got messed up here. Mm, okay, that's yeah. good. And then these need to be up. Looks pretty clean. Yeah. I could have a bigger avatar. I could. I could do that. 
So the next option will be 52, I think. Does that make sense? It's not 52. Anyway. So why 52? Is 52 divisible by 8? It's not, is it? What's the next step? What's the next step? Bump uh, up. 56? It's 56. Oh. Uh, or in, yeah, if you want to divide by 8, that's the... Is it 56? Six. Yeah. I failed math, guys. I was good in art, but I failed math. Alright, uh, so I'm going to double click into the group and see like see this uh, pale blue? That means I'm focusing in this group. So um, I can't, oh, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, that, like I'm looking inside of the group and I can uh, center these two elements. And now if I want to, um, like if I'm focused on this element inside of the group and I hit escape, now I'm focusing on that yeah. one element and then I can escape, escape again. again. And now I'm and focused on the group the itself and, f and escape again. So like you can just like, you can dive in and in and in and escape is your, is your one yes. level up kind of way. Yeah, in some Adobe apps we have also, a, what's the name, a bread, uh, no. You know when you, where you see, like breadcrumbs. Yeah, yeah. the The focus mode for Illustrator is really good about that. Yeah, where you see where you I are. think that would be handy. Be animated too. Yeah, in that could be in the last one. in the last stream with um the the PM. Yeah, she was talking about uh, the layer palette. Yeah, layers with in context layers. Yeah, and and I'm happy. I'm I got I gotta say that a few things. Number one, I'm not convinced we need them. Um, yeah, after maybe, after uh, using this pretty heavily for the past two days, I, I've not really. And also, you I've know what convinced me? I know also a lot of UX designers uh, just using Keynote, for instance. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it can be it and can be really frustrating sometimes. Yeah. If if she and she was talking about ways around it, like building maybe like a focus layer thing or, or a group layer inspector or something like yeah, that. Yeah. But but you you can't you can get into it's just from some frustrating troubles without a layer palette. But I find that if I don't have a layer palette, comparing this to Sketch, which I've been using yep. at work, in Sketch, I worry about layers so much. I'm always looking at that thing. I'm selecting elements using a layers palette, which is so, huh. it's not intuitive, right? And like, if something's not working, I'm like, what am I going to do? I'll look to the layers palette and find out what the problem is instead of like saying, okay, how is this organized? I don't know. Yeah. I, so that's why the team is still doing some research. Yeah, that we have some good prototypes of. I'm, I'm happy layers. that you're thinking wide about it and yeah. not like what's been done in the past. Anyway, let's move along. So our auto apply this lockup looks pretty good, especially if we start move putting things under it. So the first thing we need under it, I think, would be something to section it off. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle out here and um, remove the border at the fill. Here's one thing that I would like, <laughs> since I have your, your guys here and we're recording this, what I would <laughs> like to have is be able to set defaults. The default we have now with this stroke and a white fill is, is not, oh, to is like not to my favorite. Like either define a default or give me a good one because I, I don't, I'm not, I've never used the default one. Oh, yeah. I, I always end up changing it. Mostly I end up changing it to this. No stroke or no border and a light gray box. That's ninety percent of the time I change it to that, but yeah, but if I could default kind of it, like agree. like in Photoshop, you can say like preserve this as a default for like later style or something like that. And yeah, in Photoshop, it will uh, also not even with I mean with all layer styles, it will always you know save the foreground and background color in a way. Yeah, see, yeah, and and every Illustrator and does and when that. You create yeah, yeah, a new element, and then it will remember. Okay, that's the previous one. That's what Illustrator does. Like yeah. the, just the previous setting you used. Yeah. Which I think would be that's a that's I a that's a great sense, yeah. intuitive way to do it. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I want to make this box here to be kind of like a I want to use it to break up my design into sections and also add some like like a breathing room like a rest. You know, when people are looking and they're consuming your your content, they need a they need a place to pause. And if you don't give them a place to pause visually and emotionally, uh, visually, okay. it can it can be chaotic for them, right? So um, I'm going to use this gray box as a, as a place to pause. <coughs> and uh, and we, w we talked uh, about using the numbers to set things up. Yeah. Like it, using, in, instead of like pulling this box over here and stretching out and measuring or thing like that, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to say uh, X is going to be zero and the width is going to be 360. Okay. And, then, and then we have a box. How high is the box going to be? Let's start with 120 because I know that's a multiple of eight. And like that's how fast, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> just using numbers is... Uh, it, like like putting um so like in Photoshop which is like where I kind of like have a lot of roots mm. the using the info panel is not very common it, it's not it's very yeah, it's you know like it's kind of over there I don't and I never was in the habit of adjusting the dimensions of an element yeah. using a dialogue 
but you know also having like um, roots in being a developer like coding and stuff yeah it, it's actually really really good it, it, it makes your it makes your designs quick but also very precise yeah. like I'm not visually aligning things I just know it works because I'm using the numbers and I'm going by the numbers it's pretty good so that's a tip for you guys all right we have this this brick here the next thing in our in our lay, layout is to kind of put a big like link to our packet because the most important thing that we do in this application is supply our potential landlord with a packet so that they can um, make a judgment on us right so uh, let's grab let's grab a headline or something over here where's my text I made a lot of screens dude <laughs> you should zoom out you want to do a giveaway yeah, we could do a giveaway all right giveaway. I'll just keep working while you're doing a giveaway yeah okay oh yeah all right cool oh let me oh. show you let me show you what, oh. I, what I did guys so, um, oh my god, yeah, you were fast. I made, yeah, so I, I, I actually went through a lot of versions of this. I had this like background that I dragged in here that I tried to like, like, oh, I wonder what, oh, wait, that didn't work. Uh, for this, this uh, rectangle here, uh, it, it felt kind of like static. So I, I tried to do the background, and, and I was like, you know, we don't really have like any imagery that we're using specifically right now because it's not about the place where you live or anything, it's just about your packet. So, I ended up using this color here, and, and it clashed with the auto apply color, so I made that a more of a muted gray. Okay. And then this is fun. I, I I just copied one of these listings here, and then said, okay, we're, we're going to talk about which ones we're watching. And so I made a a repeat grid, Ooh. and I dragged it out to the to the left, so it, it's like you can see the 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 peaky oh, yeah, yeah. the peaky boo of the other one. And this 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 is probably not right. Yeah, it's, it should be sixteen pixels. Okay, so you can see the peeky boo of the next guy, and also I was like, oh, I want to have another column of of these things. So <laughs> why, why don't I just drag the repeat <laughs> grid down too? So that's I get another smart. yeah. Can you change the space between. The yeah, because yeah. the that's cool thing curious. about like the the editing of the 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 uh, padding is is different between the um the the you know the vertical and horizontal paddings. Yeah, they can be different. They're so. they're in, yeah. they're uh, independent of each other. So it's a good trick. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of like worked out the spacing where it's 24 pixels from the top, and then we have our text, and then 16 pixels. I'm using this little box here to measure the, where the where the padding needs to be, and I put it at 16 pixels from the text. And I'm going to get rid of that box, and then here's uh, here's our two listings. So um, that's a good place to I mean Command S to save right there. That's a good place to stop. And I wish that we had time to go into what the actual packet looks like. Maybe we can do that another day. Mode. Yeah, I'm, so I go to and, and up to here, prototype. go to prototype and mode. There is no more tool. That's no more tools. You only have one tool, and it's like the select things and make them work things tool. I think that's the official name. Um, so I'm going to click on the uh, on the title of the artboard here, and you can uh, click this little house to make this artboard the home, which means that when Got you it. do click the presentation button, it's the first one that, that shows up, right? And if I want to change, the, even though, like, a, you know, I change this one to home, click the presentation button, it's the one that shows up. So, uh, but I want artboard to be the one. Now, you you can click on elements and drag this little handle around and, uh, you know, as you guys have seen on other things, uh, on other presentations this week, but you can also click on artboards and there's a little button that hangs off of the artboard itself that goes into the next screen. So that's what I did here and I want to dissolve. That looks good. So when I click play and I'm checking out my preview, it's a quick there and it'll dissolve into the next screen. And it, it, if you uh, select the artboard itself as the hotspot, it's like the whole thing. So it's a quick way to, to like say anywhere you click, anywhere you tap is like going to show you the next thing. So uh, what we have to do now is wire up this interaction. Uh, so let's say the near you button goes to this screen and I do want to dissolve, yeah. A dissolve is like the, the crossfade. <laughs> Somebody spammed the chat with the name John Sienna. <laughs> yeah, John Sienna, John Sienna, because they were freaking out. And when they saw the black screen, they were like, oh, let's freak out, John Sienna. Why John Sienna? I don't get the joke. That's really funny though. Maybe okay. he starts with uh, like the room is black and people are like, John Cena. Oh, okay. Before a fight? I don't know. No. I don't know. No? So John Cena is I mean not big in the US. He's, he's all over Twitch. Yeah, but all, he has oh, John Cena is on Twitch? He's just Twitch. the guy. He's the superstar. Just a, yeah, oh. you just call him. I thought Adobe was the superstar on Twitch. So uh, we got these tabs here, and I wired them up really quickly. And you can see in my preview already, like this thing is live. I click, um, 
click near you. Oh, nice. It like see see that transition. I was worried about this transition when I first designed it. So I did this quick wire and oh. tested it. Tested. You know, does that yeah, does that make sense works. to somebody who's using it? It does make yeah. sense. So I'm happy with it. Um, so continuing on, um, if you click San Francisco, you're going to go into like you know a different screen. But we're going to start here in the near you and say I want to click on this mission district mm -hmm. and. Uh, Oh, the wire comes from the group. the group. I wonder if I can... Yep, yes, there we go. Explorations. <laughs> so I click on Mission District, and I'm going to get the Mission mission District uh, swipe right, right to game. It is a dissolve. What should I do here? I want it to... Change it. Uh, oh, no. You, you what should I do? Like, what do I want to do? Yeah. Uh, oh. Let's see. Do we want to swipe? I know what I want to do with these ones. Like, I want this one to be a, a come from up. I think I do want it to be a dissolve now. Or is there yeah. nothing? Is there a do nothing? Yeah, I don't. I don't want it to swipe or slide. Yeah, let's leave dissolve. it. Let's leave it a dissolve. That's that's cool. I guess if the duration is zero, maybe you can do a duration of zero. Oh, that's true. That's then how you could do it. It will be like nothing. Is there a back button on this um, preview thing? You have to build a back button. Uh, I think you can. Oh, uh, with the you can arrow use the arrow keys. keys. You, you can switch. Uh, oh, you can even go further than your. Yeah, it will just. Oh, just so so if you <laughs> no, that that's actually really really good because like if you're like oh I don't I didn't have time to wire up the thing in my presentations oh, yeah, in just, just two minutes you can just launch it and you don't have to so do. Use the arrow key here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, left. So like dragging out the blue wires is to sure. create interactive prototypes, but just to like explain to somebody you can just do right and left. That's good. I like that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, where were we? All right, so let's let's say that because um, we have two things here, we want to show what happens because there's two states of this element. There's a state where you swipe off the card, and there's a state where you tap into the card. And yeah. we we have to explain two of these with our prototype. So let's double click into this group and and just kind of like because we're going to be handling the presentation, we can keep in our mind that clicking on the photo gives you this artboard, which would be a good dissolve, and then clicking on like this thing, the title, or clicking on this card. Yeah, that's the white card below it. it would take you to this thing. And uh, not a dissolve, a slide up was what we want there. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's see if that works. So Why did that come up as this page? Oh, is it because I'm highlighting it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, near you, Mission District, let me swipe, there you go, press the back button. So I'll, I'll add another, let's add another interaction here where okay. I'm going, just basically the whole artboard, going back, yeah, going back, S dissolve. Whoa, what is this? Oh, these uh, are, si no, that's I didn't, name. that's the name of the how, how did I not see that? That's way easier, because I was worried, like, what if you have to drag this thing across, oh, yeah. like, you can just select it from a list. Yep. That that is brilliant. I, I really like that. Okay, so um, I want it to be dissolve. dissolve. Yeah, Coolio. Now let's say. Oh yeah, back. So swipe and back. <laughs> Good. And yeah. then if you click the title, nice. we're gonna get this slide up. Let's. Oh, slow that was fast. That was too fast. Let's slow that, that down. Was fast. That was the title, right? Oh yeah. No, that was the the white card here. Oh, it was the white. Yeah, oh, there we are. The one. Here right here. So Ashley Carr is uh, where is she? She, she she's around, <laughs> mm -hmm. and she will be live with us in uh, less than fifteen minutes. Less Ashley than Carr 15? is hip hop. Yeah, I think we all agree that she's definitely hip hop. Will you guys release other kits? Yeah, yeah, and also we 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 believe that the community will work on other kits, uh, kits too, and we'll find an easy way to to share the kits. Oh, it's slide up, not slide over. I was oh. hoping it was like a slide over, like I wanted to keep my card and slide a oh, yeah. on top of it. That would it's have been better. It's not it's a okay, big problem. Yeah. It would have been better. It's just about communicating ideas, not about yeah. like replicating the actual interaction. So uh, we have a live now, and let's wire that up here to... <laughs> I like the fact that you don't have to relaunch your preview window. Yeah. Know, like close and launch and close. So if I so click on this arrow, I can just choose an artboard. Yeah. So I'm going to choose live, I think it was live three. And I want it to be slide up. Yeah. The slide up on a slide up is a little weird. Maybe a slide over. Slide left. Left. Or wait, which one is, let's do slide left. 
Okay, and now let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Cool. Hey. And now we're prototyping the live now function. Let's just jump right over that that way. Live three. Live three. Okay, oh, so yeah. what I wanted to do was what? What? This guy? Bring him down. And uh, this keyboard thing. Bring it down. Whoa. One more time. There we are. Good. And what next? That thing. Bring it down. Yeah, you have slides. Oh, these are all slides. Da darn yeah. it! All right, let's the do a dissolve. Ones, dissolve would be better. Yep. And then this one is going to be the slide right. Right. Yes. And then and let's go change those to dissolves here. But you have to select the destination for the slide one. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That, that would help. Uh, uh dissolve. One. And one more dissolve. And this one needs a destination, which was what? The live one. Let's just zoom it out. And uh, this one goes back here. Whoa. Property dissolve. No, slide uh, down. Slide. No, slide li right. Right. OK, let's see if that works. All right, so click on the live. Oh, hey, th hey. they're chatting. Let me chat. Cool. <laughs> I'm narrating this thing. I mean, let me type. Type, type, type. Uh, how does the dog come in the house? <laughs> yeah, let's submit. There we go. Hey, yes, it does. My face. <laughs> uh, so, like, I'm just like, basically, in this design, I'm a troll. I just yeah. jump in there and ask if the dog comes to the house, and then I'm out. <laughs> 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 See ya. <laughs> I don't like your place. See ya. <laughs> uh, how are we on time? Are we done? Oh, you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Oh, we can do more wiring in 10 minutes. Okay, I want to go back here, and I want to wire up the uh, the gallery. Travis, how did you get started in the graphic and design sector? Oh, about S your background, I Start guess. Start designing things. That's yeah, the number one thing. What is your background? I guess that's what they are asking. Oh, um, my background is I, uh, I I worked at in advertising for a while. and Well, I th the real yeah. background is I, start, I started making websites for my rock and roll band that's how you kind of like learn that's always how you start yeah always. make it, for your garage band make yeah. a website so what was the name of the band i had a few of them um uh, one was called second option and one was called born under bitter skies it was like a heavy metal rah, kind of rock band it was oh. good it's like the ladies liked it don't judge me okay so um <laughs> what we're gonna do for this gallery we have two interactions again that we want to show. We want to show swiping through this, oh, yeah, this yeah. stream, and we also want to show tapping on the gallery to bring uh, tapping on an image to bring up the gallery. So let's double click in and just kind of like say like, okay, when when you click on this on element, yeah, we'll go to the swiping, which is I think this thing, right? Yeah, and we'll yeah, just do a, a dissolve yeah. there, and then when you click on this one, we'll take you to the gallery. We'll zoom out. Okay, take you to the gallery, right? Yeah, and that will be a come up, a slide up, and then clicking on the this element here will bring you to this, and it'll be a slide up as well. And then clicking on the X will be a dismiss. And what's the name of this one? Profile live. We'll just bring you back to the profile live. So we'll just choose it from this list. Profile live. There it is. <laughs> There's like profile not live and profile not live alt. <laughs> I don't even know what those are. Uh, slide down. Okay, let's test our uh, interaction. Here's our profile. Let's click on this one to s swipe. Okay, so obviously I messed up here because what happened with this design? Uh, I don't even know what it is in the order anymore. <laughs> I'm lost. Let me launch from here. Let me launch from here. Okay. The 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 poor assumption that I made is that um, this design would retain its like. So here's what happens. You click on this one, and I was like trying to get like the swipe yeah, this gallery. Yeah. But it's like a different state of the design, <laughs> so I messed up there. But that's not a big problem. We'll just pretend, yeah. and then uh, it can't go backwards because it's like a different screen. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> okay, but what our real interaction that we yeah. want is the oh, tap. That's the one we We want to go to the tap to see the Here gallery. This is cool. So it slid up a whole gallery of things. We can scroll through for a long time because it's a repeating grid. 
when that feature comes soon. And then we tap on one of the images, and it gives us a... I, I think mm -hmm. a, a dissolve would have been better there. Yeah. But it gives us like the, the zoom in, and you can like swipe right or left to get the next or previous. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. You, st you really can start feeling how the app will work. And yeah. The interactions. That's yeah. Great. One of the things that I would like to see is... Like, see, I have this menu here, and each of these icons n are repeated on nearly every design. And uh, if there is a way to, like, create, like, a... That this one would go to the notifications on every one of these artboards, like, so, like, a, like a symbol of a navigation prototype element? I don't know symbol? how that would work. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Um. What? He's... Well, you, yeah. So, so, like... You mean, like, a symbol, like, uh... I have um do a dissolve here. Okay, so I have all the every nearly every one of these artboards has this bottom menu. If right? you want to change it, so change I need one, and you want me to change change it. Yeah, like anywhere you are in, yeah, I'd like it to go home concept, or yeah. to go we to the. We have an Illustrator and uh, yeah, and also with the integration of the Creative Cloud libraries, um, also you can have like symbols in the cloud. So this is something really? in Photoshop. Yeah. That's cool. So that's interesting because you can have a shared library with other designers. Mm -hmm. And let's say I'm um, I'm working on the icons. You work on the on the prototype. So right. what will be possible is that maybe uh, during the night I will be editing the the icons mm -hmm. in the library. Mm -hmm. Just opening in Photoshop or Illustrator, I did the icons. And then when you will open XD the next day, you will have a warning that says, "Oh, something changed. Do you want to update?" And on all your screens, t -t 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 -t, you will have the new icons. That's awesome. So, that so I'm just wiring up the a different flow, I guess. Magic of Creative Sync. <laughs> um, okay, so if we go uh, start our flow off at the home, I wanted to like kind of do this journey here. So we have notifications also, and then I don't have a home button, or, or I can't go to profile. I have to go through. And this. master pages, yeah, template. Master pages. That's what I'm trying to yeah, think this of. This is something that could yeah, fix master that. pages. Yeah. I think I actually brought that up yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so here's the search, and then uh, our profile that we just finished a minute ago. So there's there's a lot of, like, you know, sanding down the rough edges that could be done here, but, like, look at how fast we recorded, oh, uh, yeah. made this prototype. That's so cool. Great. And it looks really, like, super clean, very professional. <coughs> I hope so. I hope so. It sounds like, you know, when you, like, prototype, you... You can be, uh, you can say, okay, we just uh, put some blocks and we will see later. Yeah, yeah. The, but this is already like, gave a lot of thought, you know, so yeah. a lot of design thinking, but not only for. I, I think, I think, yeah, like if, if we like go, everything. if we trust the process yeah. and we, we go through it, we, we know you exactly what to build. The end. It, it, yeah, the process is designed to give us confidence as creators. So trust the process. Like it. Oh my God, Travis! Good job. Thank you. That was great. Thanks. And uh, also make sure to uh, subscribe to uh, Travis' YouTube channel. So uh -huh. this is Dev Tips. Yeah, if you search Dev Tips, the the long name is Dev Tips for Designers. So if you guys yeah. designers want to learn a little bit of code, it's a great place for you. And you will find yeah a lot of great videos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's really great that you take yeah. the time to share everything on. YouTube. Yeah, no problem. If you guys are interested in like what we're doing here at Adobe, like a behind the scenes, I'm going to be vlogging the whole three days that I've been with you guys. Yeah. So like we had a lot of fun on camera and off camera and I'll be like kind of like showing what that was like. So nice. that might be a good thing. Look at it. It might take a while to edit. I have a lot of footage. <laughs> yeah. So check that out. And also I have a, a podcast with my friend Carlos called Late yeah. Nights with Travis. Was with us yesterday. Yeah, Carlos came out and um and go to travisnielsen.com for everything else. Shout out to my mom. What's up, mom? Yeah. That was fun. The patrons of Dev Tips make these videos possible. You know the deal. Patrons are awesome. They throw a few bucks at the channel for each episode and enjoy a few perks while they're at it. So check out this link. This is patreon.com slash dev tips. And it's also in the description below to learn more about all of that. You know, here's a quote from a recent patron about their experience in the community, right there. It's very exciting, as you can tell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week and keep on hacking. Boop. Now here's outro for video three. Smashing, smashing. 
the <laughs> smashing, the smashing, smashing. The Dev Tips patrons uh, make this video possible. Smashing, smashing, smashing. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. It took like 13 minutes to do all those things. <laughs>